the time. Lights out for the curfew of your planet soul. Listening to the hour of the time, I'm William Cooper. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, <laughs> I got the, the tapes that you sent me, Liz, and a few of you uh, others who sent me tapes from uh, December the 31st. And uh, I have been doing exactly what I told you I was going to do. I've been going through them uh, today, and I was going to uh, <laughs> I was going to edit a, a, a big long tape of, of and it's difficult. I've got to tell you, there is so much fear mongering and so many inaccurate, re so much inaccurate reporting and, and uh, all kinds of stuff that um, it's it's hard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make the rest of this week a series of this stuff. And uh, tonight's going to sort of set the stage. And you'll you'll discover if you were listening last night why what you're going to hear tonight is so important. These are just snor short snippets of the Alex Jones show from. Uh, from New Year's Eve, December the 31st. This is news. This is news, ladies and gentlemen. What you're going to hear here, uh, what he's saying is deception. It's fear-mongering. It, it, uh, it scared the hell out of literally millions of people, and it got worse later. You're not even going to hear the worst part. You're just going to hear the beginning, because what you're going to hear tonight is just taken from the first 45 minutes of his broadcast. Uh, his broadcast on December the 31st, New Year's Eve, these are just little snippets uh, taken from the first 45 minutes of the Alex Jones show. Uh, I didn't take everything that was scary because we don't have time to do that if we're going to talk about it. But I took just uh, uh, little snippets from the first 45 minutes, and his broadcast, I think, is three hours long. Uh, and it gets a lot worse as time goes on. The, uh, you can hear the fear and the excitement and the adrenaline in Alex Jones's voice later on. You're not going to hear so much of that in the early stages of the broadcast. And then he goes on later on the, uh, the, um, the Midas report uh, with, uh, with uh, Michael Trudeau, and uh, it totally gets out of hand. What you're going to hear is a build-up. And then later, and this is what makes me think that the whole thing was staged. Because this buildup sets the stage for full-blown panic across the country later. And you'll hear about that either tomorrow night or Thursday. But you're going to hear it because this is just absolutely incredible. So uh, stay tuned, folks. <laughs> and be careful. You'll probably get scared. I mean, just listening to this stuff on uh, New Year's Eve, um, December the 31st, I had the, uh, the Genesis, uh, radio, Genesis Communications Radio Network patch through uh, 101.1 FM because I wanted the people in the valley to hear what everybody else in the country was hearing and they don't get anything here but music. It's all they get on all the state, including mine, except for the hour of the time. So I wanted them to hear what everybody else in the nation was hearing so that uh, if there was a full-blown panic, they'd, they'd know why because I knew these people were going to build everybody up into a lather. And uh, the reason, and, you know, I get to tell you, folks, there's times when law enforcement and, and government agencies and things like that are needed. And uh, if these guys had succeeded, if they had actually succeeded in whipping up a hysteria that would have caused a large segment of the population to panic and riot in the streets, and I think this may be what they were trying to create. I, I don't know this for sure. But you'll see as we go through these three nights and you hear the buildup to what could have been an absolute catastrophe. And it all came from these people. And it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, people really went off the deep end. A lot of people got scared. Some people got sick. A lot of people headed literally for the hills just from listening to these guys. This is not a joke. I'm not kidding you. It really happened just exactly as I've described. So stay tuned. You're going to hear it all. <laughs> it's incredible, too. Now, I want you to understand that this little series that we're doing uh, is nothing personal against Alex Jones or anybody else. But I happen to know for a fact, absolute fact, and listen to me very carefully, that people who practice this kind of broadcasting and claim to be an American patriot do nothing but discredit all of us eventually. It's wrong. It is absolutely wrong. 
this guy would take a call and some caller would report something and instead of saying, well, we're not, you know, like I do on this broadcast when somebody calls in and starts, wants to tell a rumor, I tell him, no, we don't do that on this broadcast. You want to call me tomorrow, I'll check it out. And if it turns out to be true and the, the listening audience needs to hear it, uh, then, uh, you know, we'll make arrangements for you to call in and, and it can be your story and we'll do it. But that's the only way it's done on this broadcast. All of these other people, they take phone calls. And a lot of these phone calls are people spreading rumors. And these rumors, 99% of them turn out to be wrong. And it's wrong to allow that to happen. Especially when the host takes it and runs with it. Without any checking, without any calling, without any research, without anything. This is one of the people who pulls faxes off the fax machine and reads them over the air. This is the one of people who indiscriminately reads Associated Press wire reports and ABC uh, wire reports and news releases and press releases without checking them out. Associated Press, UPI, especially ABC, uh, have been well known to plant fake, phony, and false stories. We've all discovered that over the years. No radio host who reports the news especially on a day when he knows that a good segment of the population is afraid, that we've been told to expect the collapse of civilization as we know it, and all kinds of things like that, to participate in this kind of fear-mongering. Listen very carefully, folks. This will frost you, and then we'll talk about it. I may stop the tape at certain portions, and we'll talk about it then. Listen very carefully. This is the this this is just snippets taken from the first 45 minutes of the Alex Jones show on uh, December the 31st, New Year's Eve. This is news. What I'm reporting here to you is hard news. This could have resulted in the shutdown of the whole country, the declaration of martial law, mass hysteria and panic by millions of people. And this is the guy along with a few others, but this is the main guy who was whipping it all up. Listen carefully. Cash machines are failing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. He is a creature of the IMF and the World Bank and international communism. He is a former KGB head, and this information is vital, ladies and gentlemen. We are seeing the New World Order uh, really come out in full force. More wars than have been in the last 50 years are going on right now. The war in Chechnya is raging in Grozny with, well, reports of hundreds of thousands dying. Is that true, folks? Is there, are there more wars going on right now than in the last 50 years? Are there hundreds of thousands of people dying right now in Chechnya? Listen to this. This man is just making it up right out of his head as he goes along. Uh, Twenty to 40,000 civilians trapped in the city. Russian hinds are being shot down. Tanks are being...